analogue film is a dying medium. Of course, this doesn't mean the end of cinema and all the infrastructure and business associated with it, but rather the end of an era. Predicted to replace analogue film is, of course, digital cinema. So what does this mean for cinema in the future? Some popular modern filmmakers have openly criticised digital cinema, such as Christopher Nolan, Paul Thomas Anderson, Michael Bay and Quentin Tarantino. Bay states that when filming slow motion shots, digital cameras are prone to dust damage and strobing, and the quality of analogue film is all around better. Tarantino has gone as far as to say he considers retiring due to the fact that although he can still film using 35mm, cinemas are rapidly converting to digital projection and won't be able to show films made with 35mm. The most common complaint is that digital cinema is too close to television. It's television in public, says Tarantino, which is mimicked by Anderson, who says, the big scare that I have is digital projection, because ultimately it's like watching the best TV screen in the world, as opposed to watching a 24 frame flicker through life, which is a hypnotic and wonderful experience. But hope is not lost. Not all Hollywood directors are so opposed. In fact, there's a clear, very black and white divide among filmmakers about the idea of analog versus digital. We won't have to miss good filmmakers such as David Lynch, who is all for digital and says he'd never go back to film. He fell in love with shooting with a small camera, with automatic focus and 40 minute takes. It enabled him to shoot rough drafts of scenes he was unsure would make it into his films. This led to Inland Empire being filmed entirely in digital. Although many well-known directors have expressed their concern and their outright reluctance, to convert to digital cinema, everything seems to be leaning towards it. Already, projection of 35mm film is being phased out in America and a global cutoff is predicted to happen near the end of 2015. If these directors are determined to stick to 35mm film, they won't be able to show their films to the masses in this way. There has been some concern with archiving digital media. Although, as soon as this problem was realised, scientists and engineers were eager to get started on finding a solution immediately. Although it may seem easier and take up less space than archiving the vast amount of physical film in the world, it's extremely costly. The Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences concluded that the cost of storing digital cinema is 1,100% higher than the cost of storing film masters. On top of this, no kind of digital storage exists that is able to store media for as long as film can be stored physically, which is for over a century. However, companies are working towards a solution to this, with one of the technologies being M-Disc, a storage device designed to last up to a thousand years. The question is, will digital cameras improve enough to make this incredible feat worthwhile? Are they capable of producing the atmosphere, the movie magic that film does? It seems that even if it never does, we don't have a choice. Technology is always moving forward, and it seems, just like photography and sound, digital film is here to stay.